common question I'm asked is, can I take paracetamol and ibuprofen at the same time? I'm Tom, I'm a doctor in the UK, and let's answer that question. In short, the answer is yes, you can. The two drugs are very different and they have different mechanisms of action, although they do work synergistically. They also are metabolized in different ways. So it is safe to take them both. But breaking that down a bit further, what is ibuprofen? Well, ibuprofen is something called a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. This is a group of drugs, and it also includes things like naproxen, diclofenac, and celecoxib. The uniting feature of these drugs is that they block a group of enzymes called cyclooxygenase, also called COX. By doing that, they have analgesic effects. That is, they take pain away. And the reason that it does this is that cyclooxygenase actually converts something called arachidonic acid into prostaglandins. Prostaglandins sensitize nerve fibers so that we have an increased sensation of pain when there is some kind of toxic stimulus. NSAIDs do seem to have some other mechanisms by which they work, but this is the primary one. It's also the reason that we tell you that you should take NSAIDs with food or with something to protect the stomach, because prostaglandins are also responsible for producing the protective mucus lining in the stomach. So if you take them for a long time without doing those things, you can actually get a breakdown in the lining of the stomach and acid can stop to damage the stomach, sometimes causing ulcers. Paracetamol, on the other hand, is a different drug. It seems to work on the same enzymes, that is COX enzymes, but primarily in the brain. It does seem to act on other receptors too, things like the endocannabinoid system, but it's not clear as to how exactly it works. But what we do know is that it has very potent analgesic effects, and it also is very good as an antipyretic. That is, it brings temperature down very well. As I said, the two can be taken together safely. That's not a problem. In some circumstances, this is especially true in the young ones. When young children have viral illnesses, they tend to run fevers and the fevers make them feel awful. As such, a lot of the time they might not drink and they might not want to eat. But if we can control the fever, then often they will drink and they will eat. And so that keeps them well whilst they fight off that illness. Of course, they are medications, they have their own directions of use and they have their own contraindications. Always make sure you read the label before you use them. I hope you found this useful. If you did, follow along for more and drop me a like and I'll see you in the next one.